Hi, I'm Dennis Kersher and you're in the Hidden Kitchen. Tonight we're going to have a beautiful pork loin in Voltini. I'm going to show you how to butterfly the pork loin and then we're going to take some beautiful fresh Swiss chard. We're going to saute that in Asian fusion spices and stuff the pork loin with that. Let's get going. What I have here is about a third of a pork loin. Pork loins are about four and a half to five pound. This is about a one and a half pound piece. It's probably enough for uh, six to eight people depending on what else I'm going to be cooking tonight. So uh, what I'm going to do is butterfly this in a way that is kind of like a uh, opening up the pages of a book. So I want to take my first cut along the bottom. I'm going to leave about a half an inch like so. So I want to open that up like a book. Now I'm going to take my next cut right in there and again I'm going to go, go in about a half an inch and take that out to the edge and then lay that up like so. So I've got a pretty, eh, pretty uniform cut here. It's a little thick on this end, but uh, I'm going to show you how to fix that in just a second. Okay, the easy way to get some uniform consistency from your pork line, and one of the reasons that you butterfly it is so then when it cooks, it cooks more evenly and uh, it actually cooks quicker if it's, uh, if it's thinner rather than a full pork line. So what I'm going to do is lay, uh, lay my saran wrap over that and then give it a good whack or two or three or four or five. And what I want to do is go to the thickest areas and get those down first. Okay, so now my pork loin is pretty uniform in thickness, but I'd like to get it a little spread out a little more on this end. Voila! Not quite voila, almost. There we go. Okay. One of the things I like to do to kick off the flavoring for sauteing my shard is to tilt my pan up. I'm going to put a little canola oil in there. I've got the flame on low and I've got three cloves of garlic sitting in there. That's going to cook for four or five minutes just till the garlic gets brown again on low heat. So it's going to really infuse the flavor of, of the oil in there. And uh, just to have a little bit of fun, I'm going to throw some uh, pepper flakes in there as well to give it a little heat. I got my garlic getting its sizzle on. I threw in a little ginger in there as well and some pepper. Uh, a few minutes I'm going to pull that out and uh, in goes my shard. Okay, in goes the shard. And we'll just cover that puppy up, let it cook down, and then I've got a nice mixture of uh, tamari, fish sauce, some rice wine, and Chinese five spice powder here that I'm going to dump in to flavor that about midway through. Okay, time to assemble a pork loin. So first I'm going to season this with some salt and pepper. Love that automatic grinder. And I have some uh, beautiful mixture here in my mortar and pestle of um, coriander, cumin, juniper berry, bay leaf, and I put a little five spice in there to give it that Asian fusion. Now I've got my uh, beautiful um, Swiss chard here that I've sautéed 
made nice and tender. I'm going to press that to get a lot of the liquid out of there. In fact, if we take a break here, I'm going to press that through a strainer to get everything out. Alright, <clears throat> right back. I'm going to take my Swiss chard and lay that out. Amazing how much that condenses down. I've done this with spinach as well. I'm not so wild about the spinach. Uh, and if you want to give it a real Italian feel, definitely you can, um, you can do it with fennel. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is start rolling, like so, and I want to tuck this in as I go. Alright, and this is perfect because I'm, I'm leaving some of the fat right on the outside, and that's going to let me sear that off. So here's my trick with the string. My butcher's twine here. What I'm going to do is <clears throat> loosely tie the first one. And then here's my trick for, for tying. Because I want it to look really pretty. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to loop it around there, and then bring it back underneath and then cinch it up, like so. So again, through my hand, and twisting it over, back underneath, like so. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? One more time, back underneath. And then tighten it up. Last time, very end. Like so. Now, I'm going to cut that off and then bring it back underneath and tie that off. Now, what I want to do now is a beautiful pork loin all tied up. I want to season that. So, I've got my my dry rub here, I'm going to put all over the outside. And voila, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Tied up beautifully. A little more herbs on here. This is my Asian Fusion Pork Loin in Voltini beautifully tied up. Okay, that's the oven. It's ready to go. I'm going to sear it off on the cooktop to give it some browning and then it's going to go in the oven for just about 45 minutes. Okay, I've got a nice hot pan here. Here's my pork loin. I'm going to take the uh, fat side. Put that down. I've got <clears throat> got a nice hot pan, a little olive oil in there. Yeah, I'm going to sear that for three or four minutes on all four sides and then into the oven it goes. And then I'm going to cut the first piece off the end here. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. All right. So let's take some. Uh, mashed potatoes here. Onion. A beautiful slice of porchetta. Some nice gravy. Look at that. Bon appetito.